Previously on the Boss Queen series. Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome to episode four of the Boss Queen series. My name is Vanessa and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Here on this channel, I am sharing the journey and teaching entrepreneurs like you how to grow and launch their own hair care line or beauty brand. So if you are new to this channel or you are interested in starting your own hair care line or beauty brand, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and make sure you are Turn on the notification bell and yeah, look forward to more videos of the series. So this is the fourth video of the series. So make sure that you go down in the description box and watch the rest of the videos of this series because I start with, you know, teaching you guys how to find vendors, how to actually start. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys the best web hosting platform for your business. So which website? or web hosting marketplace should you be selling your products on if you have a hair care line or a cosmetic brand. So let's get straight into this video. Thank you guys for being here today and for showing so much love. I'm trying this all natural look, like no makeup, you know, because the sun is out. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video and I'm gonna be breaking down the different websites where you guys can be selling your products, telling you the pros and cons of each one and letting you know my opinion and which type of businesses would work best on each platform. So. Let's get straight into this video. All right, so when it comes down to websites, if you have a hair care line or a cosmetic brand, then you're gonna want to be online. I've already talked about this before in my business essentials video. And if you're gonna have an online, or if you're gonna be selling products, you need to be having an online presence. This is the only way that you'll be able to make more money, be able to target people with ads, and just you know ultimately, ultimately grow your brand. So with that being said, there's tons of different websites that you can be hosting or selling your products on. I've tried a lot of different websites, and I use a lot of different websites, so I guess I can come on here and kind of tell you the pros and cons and kind of let you guys know which website I think is best. So to start off, when I first started my business, the first business that I had was Curly Queen Kit and that is a subscription box. So I didn't really know too much about business and websites and whatnot and I think to be honest, I just Googled or found like an ad and this was like the website that I went with, which was Wix. So Wix is a website where you guys, I really like it. So the pros of Wix is it's very customizable. You can pretty much drag and drop all the designs that you wanna do. You can pretty much customize a website down to the T of what you want. I was selling, I am still selling my Curly Queen Kids on Wix for the front end. The cons of Wix, and the reason why I don't really like using Wix is because the back end, the analytics, and all of that really sucks. So the pros is of Wix. You guys can use Wix for a front end of whatever type of business. So I'm gonna tell you guys the front, this was the front end of my business, and then the second website that I used, which is a marketplace, was the back end, which was, you know, tracking all of the inventory, not the inventory, but my subscribers, you know, you know, organizing the shipments and everything like that. So I went with Wix because I was able to really um, customize and design the website the way that I wanted to, like everything, marble, background, and just everything. I also like Wix because the email capturing. So you can set up, you know, pop-ups. So when people come onto your website, you can get them to subscribe to your mailing list so that you can be sending them emails. So, I mean, I don't really have too many cons to say about Wix. I just didn't really like it for the e-commerce side. Because of I have a subscription box business, I needed some sort of like auto, you know, auto payment system where they would be taking payments out automatically and I needed something where it would, you know, organize the shipments and be able to know, you know, who and when I'm gonna be shipping my subscribe shipping my boxes to my subscribers. So because of that, I actually started another website at the very same time I used Wix. So Wix was like I was designing it for the front end for my dot com website. So then the second platform that I used is called CrateJoy. Now CrateJoy is a web hosting platform. If you are if you are thinking about owning a subscription box business, you need to be on CrateJoy. It is a marketplace. It is the Amazon of subscription boxes. So if you're looking for any subscription box, any different type, everything is going to be on CrateJoy. I mean, most of them are. I really love CrateJoy because it is a marketplace. So more than half of my customers come from CrateJoy. So if they're looking for specific specific subscription box, they can find it on CrateJoy. And I really also like it because of SEO, so if you're looking, you know, subscription boxes for beauty, it'll pull up CrateJoy and it'll, you know, actually push you into the CrateJoy website search engine so you can actually look for other subscription boxes. 
So it was only common sense to actually want to use CrateJoy to be able to sell my subscription boxes. The pros of CrateJoy is obviously you get the you know, auto automatic renewals and payments so I don't need to have a third party you know website create joy you're able to organize your shipments it does it all for you so you're able to see like the back end you know how many subscribers you have all the analytics for how many people are subscribing how many people are canceling you know the type of subscription options that you have like it's very customizable for subscription boxes like it's the perfect platform if you have a subscription box the reason why I don't like it and the only cons that I really have about it and the reason why I went with Wix is because there's no way to actually capture emails like there's no way to actually like get a database of all the emails that you're capturing from all your customers to be able to market to them later so that's why I needed a different website plat platform so that I could you know capture those emails to later be able to send them more marketing and with Crater you're not really able to do that they don't give you any e I mean they give you the emails after the customer orders but there's nothing else there's no um, type of pop-up where if somebody comes to your listing and looks they can enter their email and then come back you know it's just no you only get their email if they actually order but also the pros of create joy is you're actually able to set up like box showcases so you're able to show like your current box past boxes it's very very custom on like I'm showing you guys here on the screen like create joy is great if you have a subscription box um, just for the organization and keeping all your shipments and everything Organized, but when it comes to actually the listing of your website, it sucks. Like my listing for Curly Clean Kit really does not look good on CrateJoy. If you actually search it, it's not going to look good. But if you actually go, so like if somebody on Instagram is looking at our website, um, on our Instagram page, and they go to CurlyQueenKit.com, it is the Wix site. But then when they go to subscribe to Curly Queen Kit, it takes them to our CrateJoy backend. So I have linked both of those websites together so that they're seeing the Wix front end website but when they're subscribing it is all getting all the data is going into the Create Joy system so that I'm able to track them and send them emails later in Wix and just have a better organized system. If you do have a subscription box business or you're thinking about one definitely look into Create Joy because you will not you will thank me later okay. <laughs> one of the next big website hosting platforms that most of you probably know is Shopify. So Shopify is the biggest e-commerce platform, website hosting platform place where if you want to have a website, most people who are in e-commerce and selling things are on Shopify, Gymshark, Fashion Nova, like all these big brands use Shopify to sell their products. So out of all the different web hosting platforms, I really like Shopify because the analytics is there. You're able to list your products and sell them and you'll be able to see, you know, live people on your website, see the orders, like there's just so much to Shopify that the other web hosting platforms don't have. And there's so many apps and different integrity integrations that you can use to really customize your Shopify experience and your POS system and it's just like, it's golden. So if you're thinking about having a website, I would definitely look into Shopify because Shopify is the number one e-commerce web hosting platform. And look out because one of the next videos of the Boss Queen series, I will be actually showing you guys how to set up your own Shopify store. So if you guys have not already, make sure you have subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more episodes of the Boss Queen series. And so then you don't miss out on me teaching you guys how to set up your own online store and in Shopify. And a little secret. If you're looking to start your business for free for 90 days, Shopify is having a promotion where you guys can start your store and not have to pay anything for three months. So it's three months free where you guys can design your store, launch it and start selling stuff without having to pay anything. I think you, if you want to start selling, like you're already done designing, you have to enter your card, but you don't get billed until three months. So if you are ready to start now, or even if you guys want to just kind of get ready and get started so then when I create the video and show you guys, you guys can just dive right in then go down in the link in the description. I have the Shopify code. If you guys go through there, thank you guys because you guys are supporting me and it is an affiliate link, but it will give you guys the three months free to start your online store in Shopify. And it's like, this it's never been this cheap before. Like cheapest I got it was like a free 30 day trial. So this is, don't miss out on this. Even if you don't even think you're going to start your business, I think it's a good idea to at least start the website and get your hands in it. You know, why not? If it's three months free, you know, sign up, look at the website, practice, you know, designing it. So when you're really ready to get into it and start, you already know, and you're not wasting time. Cause when you, I don't know how long this three month trial is. And if you don't within three months and you get in there and it's only two weeks again, then at least you know, and you can, you know, get that website up and going really fast. So definitely check out Shopify. I'm not gonna like talk too much about it here just because I'm really going to do that in the next video. But the cons of Shopify, I would have to say, 
is there's no marketplace. You know, you are doing all your marketing for your Shopify store, but it is, it can help if you are, you know, using those keywords um, when you're, you know, doing those product titles and things like that. Like we're going to get into that when it comes to Shopify, because that's like a whole nother story. But Shopify is definitely a website that if you're looking to sell something, you should definitely really consider it because for royalty curls, we sell all our products on Shopify because you're able to like list your inventory and keep track of everything on there. Whereas, you know, CrateJoy is a marketplace and Wix doesn't do that. And so that's why I never use Wix. And the reason why I never use Shopify for Curly Queen Kit is for a front end is because it just doesn't make sense. Like if I use Shopify, I might as well just pay for an app to do the automatic payments and all this scheduling software. And I just too much. So Wix is easier for front end, just design and then use the back end for CrateJoy. Um, so moving on from Shopify, I'm going to move into Etsy. So Etsy is another marketplace where you can sell your products and it, I love Etsy because it is, it is a marketplace for people who obviously like us, who are looking to sell our beauty products and our hair care products. So if you definitely have a natural brand and you're just starting, I would definitely look into Etsy because I think it only, it only costs like 20 cents to list a product and I think they only take 10 to 20 percent out of each sale and so i really like etsy because again it's a marketplace so people go to etsy looking for natural and homemade hair care and beauty products i mean whenever i want something natural and homemade and whatever i go there especially for curly queen kit i look there first for a lot of the products that we include so most people who are looking for those natural beauty products are going to be searching on etsy and etsy also has seo tracking and all that so if you're you know listing your products um, a little bit different in Shopify. So in Shopify, you can actually have like the name of your product and just leave it as that. But when it comes to Etsy, you really want to like, you know, be using all those keywords for the title of your product. And we'll go into this later in another video when I teach you guys more about Etsy. But Etsy is really great for just if you are getting started and you're not really like 100% sure you're wanting to really like commit to 30 to $40 for a website where you can just have Etsy and upload your products and kind of see, you know, which products are selling the most and then kind of grow off that. Um, because Etsy again only costs 20 cents to list a product and it's not that much out of their pocket when people actually buy. So I would definitely consider Etsy and check it out because I think you would really like it for if you have your own hair care line or skincare line or whatever makeup brand and you want to start small and not really just go big and like build your own website because you don't have the money or the time then definitely website uh etsy because it's really easy it's like owning an instagram page or whatever and you're just uploading your pictures and people buy it with etsy they also have like shipping and all this kind of stuff so definitely check that out especially if you're in the hair care industry and cosmetic brand industry a lot of people are on etsy selling their products and you should definitely look into it all right and last but not least i'm going to talk about amazon and the reason why it's this last is because this is the last um, place the last newest web hosting platform that I have joined and so I don't I don't have too much to really explain to you about it um, and the same thing about Etsy I didn't even tell you guys the cons with Etsy but the cons with Etsy would just be you don't really get that email marketing that you do with you know Shopify you can take their emails but you will have to go into each order and take their emails and then send it into like a MailChimp or something there's no way to tr like capture emails like you can in a Shopify store with a third-party app so that's the really only con with Etsy and there's no really website, it's just like your page. Um, so that would be the only cons with Etsy. But moving back into Amazon. So with Amazon, I just started listing on there. So it's a little bit new to me. Um, so I don't really have any pros or cons. The pros is, is the power of Amazon is crazy. Like I'm gonna be making another video, but I made a over a thousand dollars in 24 hours a couple weeks ago selling on Amazon and I actually had to cut off my listing. One, because we sold out. Two, because I was scared, like what? And this, I, it was an accident. Like I'm gonna go into this more, but it was literally an accident. I made a thousand dollars in 24 hours by accident off Amazon and it's freaking crazy. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on that story, okay? Because I'm here to tell you, Amazon is the next step into royalty curls. Well, royalty curls is the next step into Amazon because, and we're actually working on getting our products in there, but we just need a couple more things on our labels and stuff. And then we will actually will be able to sell our products through Amazon and on Amazon. But just because with all the coronavirus stuff, they're asking for more like, you know, stuff to make sure because, you know, it's a product that's going on your body and they want to make sure that there's no contamination. So it's a little bit harder to get into Amazon to sell your products. But the way I made a thousand dollars was not off of a beauty product. It was off of a tool. So I'll be going into that later. But the pros of Amazon obviously is it is a huge 
huge, huge marketplace where like, I don't even know, tons of millions of people use Amazon daily. Um, and it's crazy because, I mean, in the next story, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's crazy how many people actually use Amazon every day. And so you have that power to be able to sell your products and actually get those, you know, those customers. The only cons I would think so far is there's no email. You're not able to capture the emails. If you want to, you have to go into each order and like copy their email and save it into somewhere else. There's no way to like, capture it in an app and it just be automated. So that's one of the cons. Another con is, especially if you're doing Amazon FBA, so that means Amazon is fulfilling your orders, you need to have the inventory and send it to them. Um, so if you're new and you're just getting started, most likely you're not gonna have that. You might, I don't really know too much because I, I don't know how much Amazon asks of you yet. Like if you need to send like 20 to 50 units of each product, I'm not 100% sure. So you will need to research more of Amazon. But I definitely believe it is a tool to be used and people should, especially people who are in the hair care and beauty industry, should get into it because you can make bank off Amazon, so just saying. <laughs> I mean, I broke down a lot of different websites, you know, Wix, CrateJoy, Shopify, um, Etsy, and Amazon, and there's tons of other places where you guys can sell your products. It depends on your brand, really. What are you selling? Is it beauty products? Is it skincare? Like, are you even selling beauty products? Are you selling clothing and you're just following me for the business advice? Like, you really have to do your research and figure out which web hosting platform is best for you because each web hosting platform has different cons and pros, pros and cons, and it has different benefits and different purposes. You know what I mean? So you really have to do your research and see which platform is going to be more cost effective cost effective for you and to see you know how what is it how is it going to help you you know what i mean like if you are new i wouldn't recommend going straight to amazon because you're going to need inventory already made to ship out if you're brand new i would recommend etsy because etsy is a place where you can have like one product take a picture and list it that it's made to order you know so people know that it's going to take longer for you to actually make make this order it's not like amazon where they're expecting it to get to them overnight so i mean it's there's different pros and cons and purposes of each platforms um, just like crate joy is more for subscription boxes so if you're selling hair care you're most likely not going to be on crate joy unless you have a subscription box right maybe a beauty box that you're trying to sell so really do your research there's tons of places where you guys can be selling your products like tons of them i believe honestly like i said in my essentials video if you want to make more money you need to be selling your products across the board so i sell curly clean kit and royalty curls on etsy on amazon on crate joy and on um, Shopify so you know that way I'm able to make more money across the board it is a little bit harder because it's harder to track inventory but because we're not that large of a scale of a business yet it is a little bit easy to track stuff um, eventually I think once we grow and things are growing fast right now actually because we just hired two virtual assistants which will also be another video and teaching you guys how to hire virtual assistants to really skyrocket your brand um, but because of having these assistants things are starting to move and so I'm really trying to grasp hold of everything and really make sure that things work, you know, the way that they need to be working. So I hope that this video kind of taught you guys the best type of places to host your products. I tried to really move into through each place a little fast just so this wasn't a 30 minute video again. So I hope that you guys, this was enough information for you guys. And as you already know, if you guys need more information or you have any questions, make sure that you do reach out to me. My email is down below and follow, I mean, join our new Facebook group, which is a the Ecom Boss Queens, which is a new support group that I'm starting so that I can help entrepreneurs and reach out, um, connect with you guys more personal and Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook, that's cool. Follow me on Instagram because I post more behind the scenes. And that is also down in the description box. And last but not least, my mentorship for, you know, teaching you guys more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, weekly strategy calls and all that will be coming soon hopefully in the beginning of june so make sure you guys are subscribed and have the notification bells on so you guys know when all that happens as well as check out the website my website is almost i mean it's live but it's almost completed so if you guys also want to check that out it's down below um comment down below the favorite part of this video and comment down a video suggested anything that you guys need help with because it will help guide this series um, and teaching you guys how to start your own hair care line and beauty brand and i just want to say thank you guys so much who have been reaching out to me via email um, commenting on these videos that they're really helping you because you know before i started the series i felt i was talking to nobody and it's crazy to see that like in a month i've already hit three k three thousand views on my first video of the series. So, I mean, I'm just excited for where we're going and I'm so happy that all you guys are here with me and I just can't wait to see where, 
I want to help you guys all, okay? There's room in the world for all of us to succeed, and I just want to see all of us being boss queens, you know? Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in episode five of the Boss Queen series. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.